Hello and welcome to the Daily Vision Bible. I'm Robbie H. You know, I have to admit, it's good to see that every so often, more people are subscribing to this channel. I thank those of you who have, and hope you encourage others who are interested in the Bible to do so as well. You provide a real encouragement, and a reason for me to keep producing the show. However, let us see if we can get 25 subscribers by the time I finish reading the book of Exodus on the 6th of October 2013. I really think that would be a stunning accomplishment, and a real sign that the Bible is as relevant today as it has ever been. Don't forget to check out the website at www.dailyvisualbible.co.uk, especially the new links page, which will have links to some very important sites to help to show that the Word of God is needed in these modern times. Now let's do the right thing, and open God's Word with prayer. Lord, I ask that as I read your Word, you reveal something new to me. I also ask that as people see and hear your word, they will come to a best understanding of you. Amen. Exodus chapter 13 Yahweh spoke to Moses saying, Sanctify to me all the firstborn. Whatever opens the womb among the children of Israel, with a man and of animal, it is mine. Moses said to the people, Remember this day, in which he came out of Egypt, out of the house of the bondage. For by strength of hand, Yahweh brought you out from this place. No living bread shall be eaten. Today you go out in the month Abib. It shall be when Yahweh shall bring you into the land of the Canaanite, and the Hittite, and the Amorite, and the Hivite, and the Jezreelite, which he swore to your fathers to give you, a land flowing with milk and honey. And you shall keep this service in this month. Seven days you shall eat unleavened bread. And the seventh day shall be a feast to Yahweh. Unleavened bread shall be eaten throughout the seven days. And no leavened bread shall be seen with you. No yeast shall be seen with you within all your borders. You shall tell your son in that day, saying, It is because of that which Yahweh did for me when I came out of Egypt. It shall be a sign for you on your hand, and for a memorial between your eyes, that Yahweh's law may be in your mouth. For with a strong hand Yahweh has brought you out of Egypt. You shall therefore keep this ordinance in its season from year to year. It shall be when Yahweh shall bring you into the land of the Canaanite, as he swore to you and to your fathers, and shall give it to you, that you shall set apart to Yahweh all that opens the womb, and every firstborn which you have that comes from an animal. The males shall be Yahweh's. Every firstborn of a donkey you shall redeem with a lamb. And if you will not redeem it, then you shall break its neck, you shall redeem all the firstborn of man among your sons. It shall be when your son asks, in time to come, saying, What is this? that you shall tell him, By strength of hand, Yahweh brought us out from Egypt, from the house of bondage, when Pharaoh stumbly refused to let us go. Yahweh killed all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, both the firstborn of man and the firstborn of animal. Therefore I sacrifice to Yahweh all that opens the womb, being males, for the first one of my sons I redeem. It shall be for a sign on your hand, and for symbols between your eyes. For by strength of hand, Yahweh brought us out of Egypt. When Pharaoh had let the people go, God didn't lead them by the way of the land of the Philistines. Although that was near, for God said, least perhaps the people change their minds when they see war and they return to Egypt. But God led the people around by the way of the wilderness, by the arm sumph. And the children of Israel went up, armed, out of the land of Egypt. Moses took the bones of Joseph with him, for he had made the children of Israel swear, saying, God will surely visit you, and you shall carry up my bones away from here with you. He took their journey from Sukkoth, and they camped in Epham, in the edge of the wilderness. Yahweh went before them by day, in a pillar of cloud, to lead them on their way, and by night in a pillar of fire, to give them light that they may go by day and by night, the pillar of cloud by day and pillar of fire by night, didn't depart from before the people. 